are you building a WordPress website, a web app, an iOS app, an Android app, or a logo? An important key component in building all these different digital assets is having cool looking icons. Up to now, you've only had three options. Option number one, buy expensive premium icons that look fantastic, but cost you an arm and a leg. Option number two, use crappy looking free icons that you get off the internet. Option number three, learn to draw with vector-based tools like Adobe Illustrator. My God, just using the pen tool alone is such a hassle. What if I told you there's a fourth alternative that is absolutely free and does not involve knowing how to draw or how to use the pen tool? Well, follow me and I'll show you exactly how to create those fantastic looking icons for free. To create these icons, you'll need one piece of software, a software called Inkscape. Inkscape is an open source, free to use software available on both Mac OS, Linux, and Windows. All you have to do is visit inkscape.co, click on the download button, current stable version, and download the Inkscape version that's compatible with the operating system you're using. So in my case, I'm using Mac OS. As such, I'll download the Mac OS version. In, I'm using the M1 version, so I'll download the Mac OS M1 version. It's 145 MB. I'll just stop the download because I had already downloaded the software. Finish downloading and install the software. Step number one to creating an icon is to visit google.com and look for an image that will serve as the inspiration for your icon. So in my case, I'll just open a new tab and I'll look for complicated structure icon. Click on the images button. I'll look for a cool looking image that I want to use as the basis for my icon. This one looks cool enough. Click on copy image. Step number two is to open Inkscape and paste the copied image into Inkscape. I'll just open Inkscape. Once Inkscape is open, I'll go to File, New, and that will create a new canvas. Let me just enlarge it. Then all I have to do is use Command V or Control C if you're on Windows to paste the image. In case the image is overflowing the way mine is, don't worry about that. On to step number four. In step number four, you're converting the inspirational image into parts. So just come to my image, control A, to ensure the entire image is selected, then layers, layers and object, then objects. Then on the menu bar, I'll click parts, trace bitmap. On the side window, the trace bitmap dialog box will show. You can either use a single scan or you can use a multi-scalar scan if your image has different colors. So in my case, this image is black and white, so I'm just going to use a single scan. Then click apply. Step number five is to delete the inspirational image and remain with just the icon. Still on the menu bar, click on layers, layers and object. That will open a dialog on the side where it lists all the different layers that are available there. So there's the path you've just drawn and there's the image, which was your inspirational image. Click on the image and delete it. Now what remains is just the path. Let's readjust it so that it fits into our window. So this is just the path. It's no longer a JPEG. Step number six is to add color. Ever so often, you might want your icon to have a different color from the inspirational image. To change the color, select the entire image by clicking Command A on Mac OS or Control A if you're using Windows. Then on the menu bar, go to Object, Fill and Stroke. The Fill and Stroke panel will open on the right side. There you can select the type of color you want to fill. You can choose a flat color, a linear gradient, a radial gradient, or a mesh gradient. So just for the purpose of this image, you're going to choose a radial gradient. Then we're going to have the stop color be something like 145 to 100 to 34. And we're going to leave the opacity at 100%. Then for the stop color, we can do black. Or maybe we can do something fancy. Let's make this 254. There you go. That's our coloring done. Remember, Inkscape uses the RGB color scheme. 
as such, if you have a hex code that you like to convert into RGB, all you need to do is go online and look for hex code to RGB convert. All you have to do is paste your hex code here and the RGB value will be populated for you. These RGB values are what you're going to paste into the Inkscape pan fill and stroke version. So this was the fill. You can also go ahead and change the stroke color if you want. So we can make our stroke white the way we've just done. Now that you've colored your icon, step number seven is to export the icon. I'm going to control A once more to ensure icon is selected. Go to file, export. Now, if you don't want to export an oversized image, make sure you select export selected only. The width, the height, the DPI will most of the time be populated automatically. Here's a crucial bit. From the export panel, you realize there are loads and loads of formats that you can export your icon to. By far, my favorite is the plain SVG. If you export the file as a plain SVG, what you get is a series of numbers, meaning you can scale up and scale down the image without losing its quality. From this other navigation panel, you can select where you want to save your icon. In my case, I'm going to choose the documents folder, then rename your folder. So in my case, I'm going to name it Tractor. Once you're done, click the export button and it will be automatically exported. As you can see, here's my tractor.svg file. If I open it with the text editor, you can basically see that's a series of numbers telling the computer where to draw each path. Of course, if you want something that you can easily open with any other app, feel free to choose the PNG version. If you choose the PNG version, you can leave it with no compression. And if I go back to my documents folder, Here's the .png version that I can open with a normal photo editor. And there's your icon for you. High quality icon that you can use anywhere. Just like that, my friend, you have a fantastic icon that you can use as an asset in any of your digital projects. For more inspiration, here's a website that I just built using this technique and the icons on the websites, fantastic. Link to the website is in the description below. You can have a look at all these beautiful sweet icons that I created using that technique for free, including all these numbers over here. Remember, experiment with different inspirational images to create that icon that will pop and take your project to the next level. For more fantastic tutorial videos, including how to upload an SVG image to your WordPress website, click that subscribe button, turn on the notification and leave a comment in the section below. Till next time, my friend, have a fantastic day.